Hello everybody, this is John Evans. You're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and uh, the influx of likes. Important to hit that like button. Thank you for doing that. Uh, we got a great haul to show you from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and actually parts up north. I don't even know the town. I just started straying out of town a little bit and uh, ran into a couple little small thrift stores that I found some great stuff at. So let's take a look at this haul. This was a a very good haul. High volume, high profit haul. So the first thing I found were these guys. These little mini pitchers, right? They're hand-blown uh, art glass. Now these are not used for anything other than decoration. They're just art glass as you can see on the bottom that round thing that's called a pontal. That's how you know that it is hand blown. Somebody did this. This was not manufactured. This is uh, a piece of art glass. So these were 99 cents each. They go for about 12, 10 to 12 bucks each. So let's call it 10. I found three for three dollars. I'm gonna sell the three for 30 bucks, maybe a little bit more. So that's a good start, $27 profit. Um, and I really hit a good good day to hit that store because I also found this same store. I found this 80s adjustable directional lamp. Nothing special. But uh, definitely worth about 20 bucks. This was 229. So I figured, you know, it's a little bit out of my uh, out of the range of things that I sell. I sell 50s, 60s, a little bit into the 70s. This is an 80s lamp, but it's worth 20 bucks. So I figured pay two, sell it for 20, 18 dollars profit. And that's what this is about. Not everything is a home run. Sometimes slow and steady, you know. Is wins the race, I think, is the way that goes. Slow and steady. Just like this. This was at the Goodwill in Penn Hills. Uh, this is an ashtray. Thank you. This is an ashtray, but it's an Italian ashtray. I don't know if you can see. We got a reverse image. It says Italy on the bottom. So, without identifying it, this could be Batosi, which is a very popular uh, 60s brand of... Uh, uh, or designer of, of ceramics, but without knowing who made it, it's worth 20 bucks uh, because of the look, because of the flower, and uh, tobacco stuff sells really good. So I uh, paid $2.99 for this. Feel very comfortable selling this for 20 bucks. Same store, Penn Hills, Goodwill. And Goodwill has gone to not even marking stuff. They just put stuff on a shelf and say collectibles, $2.99, wood, $2.99 glass 299 so this is this was on the collectible shelf uh for 299 this is a beautiful and i mean beautiful flamingo ashtray awesome look awesome color awesome condition this was 299 uh you know it's got one tiny tiny chip on the side but it's not gonna it's not gonna keep it from selling this is a, a great looking ashtray probably sell for 20 bucks as is so i paid 2.99 for this 20 bucks again these are the worker bees these are the these are the, the consistent profits that keep your business going uh like this next thing i found this this is an insta buy this is what what me and my girlfriend call an insta buy deal team six that's what we call each other. Deal Team Six. This is this was two nineteen, two dollars and nineteen cents. This psychedelic mushroom trivet. And as I've mentioned before, combinations: trivet cell, mushroom cell. So yeah, this was two nineteen. I'm gonna sell it for eighteen bucks. That's sixteen dollars profit on the psychedelic mushroom trivet. Now, I've had good luck with this kind of thing before. These coffee makers are great. This one appears to be a tea maker because you can see it's got the dangly tea thing in there. Look at that. This was $2.99 miscellaneous at the Goodwill in West Mifflin. Uh, 
I'm not sure that that is original. This might have been added. I don't know, but it's got a little burner under there. This was made by Pyrex. Pyrex sells. Vintage Pyrex is hot. This will sell for 24 bucks. These, uh, I've had, I've sold every one of these that I've found. So if you find these vintage coffee makers and they've got a cool design, pick them up because they will sell fast. Now, I mentioned that mom and pop or that small-time Salvation Army that I went to. The best thing I found there was this. Uh, these green, heavy, are these goblets? What are these? Goblets? I don't know. But it's a real nice design. Heavy, heavy, heavy green glass. Now I've had versions of this before. I've even had it on on the show, but this is the these are the nicest that I've ever found. These are extremely heavy. Almost looks like a flower on the bottom on the base and you can see the detail there. Hard to say. These these feel like hand blown, but I also think they're probably mass produced. So um, they were two bucks each, which is a little high for a thrift store, but sometimes you have to remember uh, if you see something at a thrift store that's two dollars, you go, oh, that's high. But if you were to find this in a vintage store and the whole set was fourteen dollars, you'd grab it because that's a good price. These go for about fifty bucks a set. The heavy green glass uh, and the, especially with this color, you know, anything, anything avocado green, olive green, lime green, hot, hot, hot. And uh, so I'm going to sell this set for 50 bucks. I paid 14 It's a $36 profit, maybe even a little more. So, you know, that's a, that's a, that's a good deal. Some the right buyer it only takes one buyer. And, uh, and that's all she wrote. So we're down to our last thing. And uh, like I said, this wasn't a uh, star studded lineup, but heavy uh, volume, steady profits. Uh, so let's look at the final thing that I found, which is the, the closer. The big boy. My fo oh, some people already know what this is. Yeah, a couple collectors out there. This is a magazine rack. Surface. Uh, some things on the surface. This is made by a company. Can't see it on the bottom. Maybe you can. In the middle there, it says Cartel. Cartel is a company that made plastic furniture, plastic uh, display stuff, plastic shelving. So this is, uh, this was $3.99 at a, can you see that? $3.99 at a place called Repurposed here in Pittsburgh. I have sold this exact magazine rack in this exact color for 160 bucks. If you go on eBay, go on eBay right now, look up Plastic Cartel Magazine Rack. You will find a price range of $200 to $400. I know, you might be at a thrift store and not even notice this. This might be an afterthought to you, but it is worth $160. How do I know? I've sold it for $160. So let's look at the total haul. Let's look at it. I spent $35, 35 When it's all said and done, I will make $386 American money off of 35 So that's almost $350 profit in one week of thrifting. That's a pretty good week. So uh, how do we do this? Again, keep watching my videos. Mid-Mod Money. The sun is coming up, it looks like. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. That's how we do it here on Mid Mod Money. Keep watching this channel. Thank you, America. Good day.